My name is Lionel Buckingham. I've been studying the paranormal for nearly a decade, and recently I've been trying to find the link between the paranormal and sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is when someone has the temporary inability to move or speak and can occur upon waking up or falling asleep. In most cases, people grow out of their sleep paralysis or can be given a better sleep routine to follow, but this case struck me differently. When I spoke to one of the roommates living in the apartment over the phone, he mentioned him and his two other roommates sharing the same experience during sleep paralysis. State your name, how long you have been living here, and if you have ever experienced sleep paralysis before. If so, how many times? How long did it last? And describe what happened during your episode. Hi, my name is Marilyn Ramirez. I moved into this apartment a couple of months ago with my roommate Jess. The first time I ever experienced sleep paralysis was here at this apartment. So the first time it happened to me, it really freaked me out. I did my own research and I heard that it was harmless. Um, but then I heard Jess and John talking about it. And then it happened to me a second time and then a third time. And each time I have experienced sleep paralysis, I see the same as John and Jess. The first time it happened here at the apartment, I couldn't move, I couldn't talk, I could hear, and I felt like I could see around my room, but all I heard was this heavy breathing coming from the left side of me. Seconds later, but what felt like at least a minute to me, that's when I woke up. The second time it happened, I heard my roommates up and walking around in the living room, but I also heard the same heavy breathing coming from the left side of me. And from the angle I was facing, it looked like there was this girl next to me. But then I also thought I was dreaming because it happened during my sleep paralysis. So state your name, how long you've been living here, and if you have ever experienced sleep paralysis before. My name is John. I've been living in this apartment for about two months, and in my old place I've experienced sleep paralysis before, but this is nothing like I've ever experienced. About a week ago I had another sleep paralysis experience, um, only this time it was different because when I woke up I couldn't move and I couldn't speak and all I could think about was Marilyn's experience about seeing that girl and I don't know if she got into my head but in the corner of my room I saw that same girl and I didn't know what to do so I looked up online and found Lionel Buckingham and that's when they got in contact with him. Okay, Jessica, you're my last interviewee. Tell me about your sleep paralysis experience in this apartment. My name is Jessica, and I've been living at this apartment since June. Um, I've experienced sleep paralysis in the past, but this time I saw something that I didn't see in all the other experiences that I've had. Can you describe what you saw? Um, so for a moment, I couldn't really see. I tried to open my eyes, and I looked around the room from like what was in front of me. And then I started gazing over to the left because I heard loud breathing um, coming from the side of the bed. And when I looked over, I saw this girl with long, long black hair down to here. I got really freaked out. I couldn't talk, but I wanted to yell. 